Hey, Turtle Club, good morning, and it is 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, YouTube, why you gotta be like that? Go to live chat, not top chat. And it's time for Mag vs. Wild Survival Evolved Edition. We are playing Ark Survival Evolved, and per the name's sake there. And hey, Dylan Blackburn, how's it going, buddy? Glad to see you, man. It's been a bit, it has, it has. But, you know, with school being the way it is, and into finals and all that for a lot of people we totally get that we totally get that but guys we are going to be working on building what i call the daycare center and that's that's the goal today so if you weren't looking for a grindy arc stream um this is not the stream you seek so it's uh you know it's one of those things it has to be done stuff has to be done um i i won't lie i won't lie um I've been playing on the multiplayer server a lot more than I thought I would. It's just, uh, I think it's a combination of the Ragnarok being so new to me from start all the way to finish. And a combination of, I don't like things to finish. And we are getting as far away from finishing on this particular playthrough as we are. I mean, we have a lot of dinos to get still. Uh, we are still, we are still, you know getting ridiculously close to the end of this playthrough and so um i kind of admit i kind of want to play more you know um good games are like that good games are always like that hey might be on around 4 a.m eastern standard time oh wow okay drew way cool man way cool and for those of you that haven't caught the announcement um this friday morning will be the last stream for this week. Uh, my wife and I have an anniversary coming up. Hey, Ahad, how are you? And we're going to be spending it over in the wonderful city that is Savannah, Georgia. And the surrounding area, Tybee Island specifically. It's going to be great. Uh, we, we love it over there. And so, but that does mean that, you know, things have to happen. I have to be able to pack and clean house and all that. So tonight will be Survival uh, Evolved. Uh, this morning will be Majora's Morning Muffin, and Friday will be the last Majora's Morning Muffin until July 2nd. Uh, that's that's the that's the plan at the moment, guys. You know, plans do change. Uh, I think we will be doing Unshelled that Sunday when it comes up. But that is that's the way it is at the moment. Um, we've been kind of trying to keep you guys up to date about all that as best as we can. Man, I'm, I'm trying to find anything that I can bash open for metal. Because I just need six pieces of metal. I mean, that's it. Six uh, ingots. So, like, 12 raw metal. And I, I think I've, like, I think I've, like, completely just shot myself in the foot over here. Because I don't think my metal ingots are, are uh, respawning anymore. And I don't think, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of noise. Okay. And, oh, there's one metal. Two metal. That's enough for one ingot. We might just have to get on the Argent and go one of those uh, places that has more metal than what we have over here. I think we have an Argent over here. Boy, it's been so long since I've played on this game, guys. It's been so long. Congrats to you both. Have a wonderful trip and chance to... Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Drew. Um, it's... You know, we're celebrating 16 years. Digrat has put up with me for 16 years. If you can believe it, guys, that's a that's a long time to put away anybody's dirty clothes in the hamper. And uh, yeah, absolutely, cause for celebration there with the headsuits. I'm tired. Stop moving. I am so close to leveling too. It's ridiculous, guys. Get some food action, some canteen action. It's about to be dark. All right. Oh, and I I got so close to the toilet, and then and then I I, I couldn't hold it apparently. Uh, where is? Okay, that it it's.
Can't tell if I'm outside anymore. All right, there we go. Use the use the Ingram arc light. Still trapped in the toilet. Oh no! All right. There we go. There we go. Note to self, we need to install a nightlight over there. We have this wonderful lighting system over here for our whole base, but out by the toilet, we just don't have anything. Isn't that common? You know, you go to the bathroom middle of the night, and there's just no light. There's just no light. In real life, so too it is an art, guys. Oh, uh, actually, you know, hold up. Oh, oh, I am I am silly. I am so silly. Okay. Here I am, trying to get the materials to build a Casterite saddle. Because I'm like, ah, oh, I need a Casty saddle. And come to find out, I already built one for the other Casterites. So, sweet. Hey, Zylan, how's it going, buddy? So now we can get over here. And we can go do what we want to do. Casterites has a level up. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll level you up. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I, uh... I have fallen down the rabbit hole that is Ragnarok, so getting back used to the island is going to take a little bit. Um, I do like having a solo game and a server game, because I can do proof of concept on the solo game. I just need to start doing that a little bit more. And I'm finally getting to where on the server everything's being fairly well managed. Not having a mammoth over here kind of hurts. I don't think... I, I might have already trimmed all the trees down, too, the more I think about it. It's 3 a.m. now. Yes, it is 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. for me! Um, but it's it's more like 3 p.m. for me. So that's the one thing, that, you know, I work nights. So it's... Uh, it's just the way it goes. All right, here we go. Here's some wood. And we are doing exactly to this little island. When we got to Herbivore Island, we we're like, boy, this island's so beautiful. It's a paradise. It's great. And then I thought to myself, it's, it's so sad. We're going to destroy this island. We've killed almost the herbivores. I mean, we, we needed the leather and the food. And the meat. Right? And, um... We, you know, we've, we've been building everywhere. I mean, we've, we've developed this place as if it were, like, a beachfront property. And it's... It's getting pretty sparse and barren. Alright, so... All right, let's go ahead and pull out our, our arc version of Boost Mobile and go, where you at? And if you get that joke, you're as old as I am. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Did we get off the, the dino in time? We did, we did. So busy with school, it's summertime now. Yeah, awesome, awesome, Dylan. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Teresa, why did you... Alright, I'm, I'm not going to question it. I really am not. Okay. Alright, so let's just get Mandy here. Let's get Bob there. Let's see here. Do we have Thatch? Because to do this, we're going to need Thatch. Uh, oh. Wow, Bob got some Thatch. Or oh, that's not Bob. That's, that's Mandy. Bob is the other one. Alright, so here we go. Foundation, stone, make five. We need 16 stone foundations. That's all. Just 16. And it's going to come down to the thatch. Ugh. Yuck. Alright. So I gotta admit, guys, on my personal server that we have for the community, and I'm getting a little bit spoiled with some of the mods. 
I go, uh, all right, Darkstar. Well, ha have a good one, man. Thanks for popping in. Really appreciate you. I am getting spoiled with some of the mods, and the the one mod that I've been really, really remiss about adding on the server is S plus, and it's because sometimes people can't handle the S plus mod. It adds a lot of overhead, a lot of overhead, and it uh, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, I, I can't, I cannot say, I can't speak against it. You like the stream? Well, thanks, Zylan. Really appreciate it, man. If you get extinction, can you live stream? Uh, Zylan, we will live stream extinction after like I don't know. We still have so much content to go through. Because, like, the, the plan is to beat the island, and then to do Scorched Earth, and then to do Aberration, and then it'll be Extinction. So, it, it's going to be pretty far off. Pretty far off, man. Because it's going to be, you know, 100% of all the... When we get to Scorched Earth, it's going to be 100% of all the Scorched Earth-specific dinos. We will be able to, con like, transfer these to Scorched Earth. So, it won't be like we're trying to fill the Pokedex over and over again. Um, same thing with Aberration. So some of the dinos we need we'll just take with us as we ascend from place to place. Alright, so we need... Um, why, why can't we craft things? Oh, we don't have the wood for the crafting. Okay. Duh, mag. Alright, so that puts us up to... Not enough stone now. Okay. Waddles. It's time to ride. Oh, Waddles. Don't, don't, don't get... Ah. Uh. Alright, let's try this a different way. It's been a while since we've been in this base, so all of our really cool ways to move around this base, uh, we just, we've just forgotten how. Alright. Might not be able to get it because landscape money. I I totally understand that, Zylan, and that's 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 part of the uh, part of the reason why we don't download things and you know buy things immediately either. Now I do have some cool things that are coming down the pipeline for our arc streams. I'm working. Oh, there's our level up. There's our level up. Uh, melee damage go up one. Let's stop with him for a second. All right, so we are level. 97 great googly moogly guys 97 what does 97 get us a quetz platform oh yay quetzals all right so pretzel and uh seltzer we can now strap a platform to which will make everything that i do as far as downtime goes so much easier so much easier we'll be able to swoop down to places and gather stuff. Oh wow. Um. Hum. But yeah, I'm right there with you, Zylan. Uh, I I've played so much of this of this game, right? And it's it's got so much cool stuff on it. I I don't know if I need aberration. I don't uh, let alone extinction. Um. From what I can tell, it kind of looks neat, but it's sort of way, way far away from the formula, right? Because it used to be dinos, cool, find these, you know, prehistoric things have been created, and now it's getting to, you know, as you get into aberration, it's like, here's these alien things that never truly existed on the planet. Oh, okay, okay, that's kind of neat. And now, from what I'm seeing on Extinction, it's... Here's all these robots that aren't even really dinos, and you have to use like tech to to tame them, possibly, or who knows. And so I'm I I don't know, you know I, I really I really want to be excited for extinction, but I feel like it's no longer arc in the traditional sense. So I'm right there with you. I may or may not getting it. About one and a half months ago, he started landscaping. You know, that's actually not a bad job, Zylan. I, as a younger, as a younger lad, <laughs> I paid for a lot of my things in the world through lawn care, and it pays surprisingly well. And the work is, well, let's be honest, 
it's backbreaking work. It really is. Anyone who doesn't, you know, think it's backbreaking clearly has never done it. But it, uh, it's not as bad as some other jobs that you can do just by picking them up, right? There, there, there is some benefits. Well, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get on the RG and go somewhere else. Hey, it's not too bad, you know. It's there are far worse jobs, far worse jobs. Uh, would I go back to it personally? Um, I like air conditioning too much, to be honest. Um, but the the pay was good. I mean, if you got the right clientele, you could churn out um, a lot of stuff pretty quickly. I mean, I was I had one yard that I did once a week, and I was getting like 110 bucks. And you know that's that's like four hours of work for 110 dollars, and I was you know 15, 16 at the time. That was good money, you know. Like I said, when I was when I was a younger mag, um, that was real good money at that age. And it still is good money at, at at this age, to be honest with you. This would be a cool place here to build a. I didn't even think about that. This right here would be a real good place for an underwater pin. Okay, I need to remember that. So we're going to have to do underwater dinos eventually, too. Oh, is that actually... Is that is that is that rock? Is that real rock? Or is that fake rock? Oh, it looks like real rock. It looks like real rock. Home run! Oh, we missed. 61 stone. All that traveling. Coming the whole entire island. First 61 stone. Oh well. And we don't have anything. Uh, well, no, nah, we don't. Okay. All we need is four more. All right. You stay there, Waddles. Yes, I know. I have no shirt. I have no pants. I have no helmet. I do not know why this is. It's been so long since I've played on here. I'm guessing I was in an area where it was cold. And then it got hot, and then I took my clothes off, because that's the way you quickly combat that kind of stuff, right? So it should be over in here, if that's the case. Um, wait, am I, like, stuck on its foot? I sure am. That's funny. 14, so still getting... Yeah, oh, yeah. Xylan, 14? You are you are actually right in the, the primo spot for that kind of stuff. That, that is... Because you got the advantage of being young on your side... I didn't mean to eat that. I meant to drop that. Oh. Okay, so we need our axe. No, we don't. We don't need our axe. We just need to get Waddles full. Um, let's see. Let's take the elevator to the flight deck. Why on earth is there a live stream at 3.20 a.m.? Because I woke up at 6 p.m. and I worked nights as C-13 Lightning. As I mention all the time on my streams, I am an overnight employee, so my 6 p.m. is your 6 a.m. and vice versa. So right now, if you're thinking it's like 3.20 in the morning, good gosh. Well, yes, if you were a normal person, that'd be 3.20 a.m., but I'm not a normal person. I am the vampire, and that means that right now it's like 3 in the afternoon for me. All right. Hey, we got stuff that we never took away, but... Melee damage. I'm going to have to remember this is not my multiplayer uh, RG. My multiplayer RG is like level 80 something and he's got, you know, really awesome. I thought you streamed at 8. I do. I do. I stream at 8 p.m. I stream at 3 a.m. and I stream at 8 p.m. So, uh, so if you're using the same, same terminology, I stream at 8 a.m. <laughs> Well, feed me garlic. Thanks, that, and I, I don't want to poof and turn into ash. Uh, but basically, I wake up at 6 p.m. If I've got work, I go to work. If it's my date night with Digrat, well, we go date, date night with Digrat. And if it is um, Sundays and Mondays, I stream at 8 p.m. Either on Unshelled with Digrat or on Melee Monday. And then, of course, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m., I do all the streaming there, too. All right, so here we go. T-Whistle you. Because we need the protection. 
But yeah, S13 Lightning, man, our stream schedule has been posted in our Discord for a very long time, and it's in the description as well. Do I suck human blood? No. Nah. I do not, man. I'm a vegetarian when it comes to that kind of stuff. I am, I'm not a fan of needles. Uh, I'm not a... Which is unfortunate because I, I have to get my blood checked like every month. Boom. Come on, Waddles. Alright, it's that's Debra's. Last time you saw the stream was Breakfast of the Wild, but it said you were live and was like, what? Yeah, Breakfast of the Wild. Uh, even then when we did Breakfast of the Wild, we still streamed late at night. It's just we didn't stream often at that time. Um, mainly because we just used it for personal time, and we actually uh, played a lot of video games with other people. But we kind of moved on from that. Ah, come on. Here we go. Oh, you're like hungry. Okay. But yeah, S13 Lightning Man, every Monday morning and Wednesday morning at 3 a.m. we stream. And it's uh, always, right now, it's our it's our survival crafting stream. It's, it's dedicated to survival crafting games. Right now we're playing Ark. We're 100%ing Ark on the island, which means... Uh, one of every dino in every available gender. Um, and I say it that way because there's some dinos that are genderless, like the Akatina. And there are some dinos uh, that have genders, like the Origins. And so it's it's quite the goal. It's quite the accomplishment. I, th I think we'll be able to uh, do it sometime this summer. Um, we also have to kill all the bosses and get all the things. So it's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit. But it's a. Uh, I really like this game a whole lot. It's, and I gotta. I gotta put this caveat on it. I like this game a whole lot on PC. On console, I like it a little less. And on mobile, I. Uh, I pity the person that can only play it on mobile. I really do. The mobile version of this game is is garbage. Um, as much as I love it, as much as I think Wildcard got lightning in a bottle when they built this game. Um, putting it on iOS and Android in the state that it's in is just horrible. It really, really is. I mean, it's got me to where I'm really concerned about this version on Switch that they're building. I mean, it's just that bad. It's that bad. So hopefully, hopefully they understand what's going on. And they'll get that figured out. But, uh... Yeah. The version of, of Ark on, on, on iOS and Android is just... It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I, I tried playing it. I downloaded it on my iPhone. I downloaded it on my iPad. I, I saw a guy that was playing it on Android. It, it's The graphics are really bad. And the controls are horrible. Yeah, I just... I just don't know. Yeah. You and your friend's bases with Fallen Destroy, but he was expecting that to happen sooner or later. Uh, yeah, uh, on PvP, that's definitely worth the possibility, Island. I I keep wanting to kind of give PvP a shot. I, I, uh... I've been, I've been watching a couple of PvP streamers, and it looks fun. Sorta. Um, excuse you. There we go. <laughs> Get some experience on this Dodic. It's fun, but kind of hard at the same time. You know, and that that's what it looks like. That's what it really, really looks like to me, man. Is raiding bases looks like it'd be interesting. And it's it's not because I want to grief somebody. I really want to test my metal against somebody's base. I really do. Um, I want to build like a, you know, just a, a monstrosity kind of thing. But it's going to be difficult. Unless there's, you know, 
some ground rules and a group of people and playing with and all that. Where are we at? We're getting there. Wow. I, I like having waddles. Uh, on my other... On the server game, we have a, a dodicarus named Tina. And bless Tina's heart, she's not waddles at all. <laughs> uh, that's not a rock. That's a moving turtle. Oh... That's a true dawn, is what that is. Come on, combat me. I have to treat on attack. I feel like that's it. I mean, I said I have to treat on attack. The credits should roll at this point. Oh, yeah. When that raptor bounced off the back of the aggro jag, it, it just went poop. Oh, that was great. That was great, Xylan. It was. We have some funny moments on Ark. We really do. We really do. That is a brontosaurus, and when you are talking to a brontosaurus, all your responses are yes sir, no ma'am, yes ma'am, and no sir. Um, I don't think I could actually melee one of those in this game for certain. Alright. Yeah, Waddles, that's exactly what we think about the brontosaurus being right there. You can hold how many stone? 440? Alright, so we're almost getting there. Enjoy watching and chatting on your stream. Thanks for. Oh, Xylan, no worries, man. No worries. Xylan, it's, it's always fun to have you here. Always fun to have you here. And for those of you late night comers or early people on the other side of the world, welcome to Convertible Turtle Gaming. My name is Mag Synchro. I'm one of the two streamers on this family friendly channel that you can see the rules right there. Uh, we like to keep the atmosphere good and jolly and happy and all that kind of stuff. And those rules right there up above my head, keep it that way. We are playing Ark Survival Evolved, and we are going to be building a daycare center uh, today. That's that's the plan. This stream is three hours long, and we're already a half hour into it. So if you got any plans for the next two and a half hours, go ahead and make them. But if not, curl up and enjoy it with us. We have no problem with that. But what the daycare center is, guys, is it's going to be a way for us to get lots of Rex babies. Because we need to make Rex babies become Rex adults. And the only way we can really do that, truly do that, is through the breeding system in this game. And we will we will breed one Rex on stream. Um... Because it will take probably the better part of his stream to do everything we gotta do. <laughs> gotta go. All right. Good morning. Hey, you know, good night, good evening, good morning, whatever you're about to do, Zylan. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for watching. But yeah, guys, so to get the Rexes going, to get what we need for the Rexes, we're gonna need to build a, a daycare center. Now, I have seen several people's ways of building these. Because I've been watching a whole lot of ARC streams lately. Um, and I, I, I seen one that I really liked. Really liked. Uh, 
Did we lose Waddles? We did. Waddles. Come, Waddles. Unfortunately, Waddles will walk on a straight line. Hey, Galactitron Entertainment, how's it going? Boom. Oh, you're stalking. Okay, you're, you're funny. You're funny. All right. You're going to make Waddles, like, really, really mad, Bagger Jag. Really, really mad. All right. Let's land here. Come on, Waddles. You can do it. You can do it, Waddles. Waddles, savior of Grunkle Stan in all things that are Gravity Falls. All right, here we go. So we're going to build a, a daycare. And the daycare schematic that I saw uh, called for pretty sizable um like seven by seven six by six something like that it's going good uh, since the incredibles two movie tickets are sold oh wow well you know that has a movie that's been really super hyped um incredibles 2 and it's it's one that it's not surprising that it sold out the way it did uh, i i for one enjoyed the original incredibles Jack Jack was like, you know, star of the show. And with more Jack Jack in the sequel, I, I don't see that being, you know, changed anytime soon. Alright, so we're taking waddles up here and down and spiraling. Alright, so things that's done spoiled me. So I, I started playing S plus. And boy, do I not recognize Survival Evolved anymore on S+. Plus. There's some things that S+, Plus does that just... Uh, I'm stuck. Alright. That is just great. Like the, the item pool. The item pool is super awesome. I, I like being able to do that instead of having to do all this. Now, that is a mod. And we're trying to keep this really laid back and, and mod free. Um... Uh, I, I'm, you know, I can see why people would be shocked about that Galactic, but I'm not surprised, really. Um, Disney did The Incredibles really, really well. Like, they took the superhero genre, and they're like, we're going to make a superhero movie with superheroes that no one and their uncle has ever heard of. And, you know, the rest of the world laughed and said, okay, sure, you do a superhero movie without Superman or Batman or or." Iron Man or anybody else, you know, no Captain America, no Thor, and let's just see, let's just see how far you get Disney, let's see how far you get, and Disney said, all right, challenge accepted, boom, you want to see more about these guys, and we did, you know, I mean, people are really wanting to see like a, a Frozone, a standalone movie, you know, people are wanting to see uh, like prequel, you know, back when Syndrome was like a little kid. And Disney really nailed it on the park. So when the sequel come out, it uh, it was a long time coming also. So unlike some sequels that take forever and then just peter out, I, I don't think it's going to go there. Uh, it was normal as Avengers... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it, it, you know, it, it is kind of like that. I mean, this is... It, Disney commands a large market share of moviegoers. I mean, Disney is close to synonymous for uh, for animated movies as, like, Hanna-Barbera used to be. Alright, so... I know I said I wanted to build at a certain spot, but I'm beginning to think maybe I need a different spot. I'm stuck. I'm tired. I'm doing all sorts of other things. Alright. Come on. I need to run. I need to run. 
Okay, so maybe we're going to build it here. That seems like a better option. Yeah, that seems like a much better option. Okay. Some of the things about running around my base, guys, I remember. <laughs> I don't remember them doing that when I did that, but hey, it's been a while, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, let's grab a lot of that. Let's grab a lot of this. There's 12. We're making this... Hmm... But it's just going to be the stone that'll lag still, isn't it? Yep, okay. Waddles, give me all the stone you can muster. That wasn't all the stone you can muster, just all the stone you can muster. I'm slightly nervous that this is going to be a wood thing. And it is a wood thing again. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. We, we, we knew this was going to be a little bit of a, a kick. All righty. Let's, uh, working on superhero series for 11 years. Once I'm done with it, Disney does not want to buy my series. I'll say yes. Uh, mostly my name as a creator. Why? I'll explain in a bit. Okay. All right, so trying to think here because I, I think Behemoth Gates. Let's do let's do the counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Behemoth Gates are seven. Yeah, so we need we need this to be seven. We don't need this to be ah, ah, gross. But it doesn't have to be square. That's the thing, right? It doesn't have to be square. I don't think. I hate having to move these guys, but excuse me. I know. Come on, Austin. Back up. If any of you have ever driven a big rig truck, you know how hard this is. You're so tired, but you can't sleep, hey! Cherry, what are you what, what up? I don't really want a person like Michael Bay to direct to ruin it. I like directors and writers to take the right path, but Disney can bring them as the new superhero cinematic universe. Uh, that'd be cool. I I don't you know, Disney would be awesome, but Alright, so Game is kinda loud by the way. Uh yeah, certain things of it are usually loud, Cherry. I can lower it a little bit. Alrighty, let's see here. Okay, that ought to lower it pretty good. Maybe not. <laughs> Is this... Ah, okay. So we have... Bronte. Alright, so three... So we can short this by three. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Volume is good now. All right. So seven by five. That's that's still that's still sad. Um, but it's not what we thought we needed. So 
Okay, so 7x5 means we need 35. You've been working on it for 11 years. It's an inspiration of Avengers and Transformers. Ah. That's cool. Alright, so we are at 23. We know we need 35, so we need 12 more foundations. So let's check first what we need here. For 12 more foundations, that's 800. That's 960. And we got 938. Rip. Um... Oh, wait a second. Let's go let's go check our pre-builds. See if we've got anything in the pre-builds. Miscellaneous. That's just all sorts of garbage that I've thrown in there. Okay, animal trophies, flint, thatch, fiber, metal, man. Alright. Did we seriously not have the structures bid here? Okay. Well now, uh, what about here? Anything built in here to be helpful? Nope. Okay. Last place to check is over here. Oh, we got a little stone. I think that does it for us. I don't think it's, uh, yeah, I think it does all right. Uh, Cherry does bring up a very valid point on that, as, as harsh as it is. All right, 960. There we go. So, next is we got to take Mandy. Um, so, those are good questions, Galactic Tron. GTE, really good questions. Uh, let's address them in the order I think that's most important to start with. Is, hey, Giggity! How's it going? Uh -huh. So, so let, let's start off with the elephant in the room, right? Is this a game I recommend? Yes! Boy, that was an easy question. Um... Is the game that let's 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 qualify that though, right? Because questions that are open-ended can cause issues. Uh, is this game that I'm playing in front of me a game that I recommend? That question is yes, it is. Um, and and. Why do I call it, why do I, you know, why did I say it kind of that way? Um, because PC is so different on this game than console. And it's so very, very different than mobile. Uh, so it is a qualitative uh, statement. It's a qualitative question. Uh, yeah, only for PC. What Giggity is saying, only for PC. If you're going to play this game on on console you're going to lose out on a whole lot of really good content um and that's you know that's xbox that's uh ps4 um those just don't get anywhere near anywhere near the content i, I thought i'd grab that thatch i guess not all right i'm gonna grab that thatch though that the that the actual PC gets and it's because like other games like this mods do so much for this game mods just mods just make this game tick when when this thing gets on live support a new mod comes along and all of a sudden it's a shot in the arm and uh, I, I just you know other games kind of have that same issue like Minecraft if you've ever played Minecraft on any of these, you know, console versions of Minecraft, you know that Minecraft is a great game, uh, and it gets better on PC. All right, so now we got all of his stuff, or all of her stuff's been taken off. But that said, that said, so I, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I do not want to dim and gloom it, right? I haven't seen the version, I haven't played the version on Switch. I have seen what they're kind of messing with. I have seen kind of what they're prepping. Um, all right, drop Mandy there. And, and to that end, it looks like it's going to be okay, but and this is a, a pretty big exception. Uh, there, there's some optimizations that this game badly needs. 
before the switch is going to be able to handle it in an acceptable manner. And they're doing some. They are doing some. And one of the like one of the things that they're doing on the switch that not everybody cares for is they are removing a lot of the idle animations. And like if you look at Agrajag, because you're like idle animations, okay. What idle animations? Well, here he is. His head's bobbing. He's kind of looking down at me. His eyes are closing a little bit. His feathers are fluttering. Um, a lot of that's not going to be on the Switch. A lot of that's not going to be on the Switch. A lot of that's not on most computers if they turn the settings down below. Uh, and that, that's you know that's really what it comes down to. So, is it a great game? Yes. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. You want to floof the feathers? See, they look floofable, you know? And that's important. Or pet them, you know? And that's that's really good. That's really good. That's that's what they're going for when they build these models. Now, and this is an actual lower polygon model than what it used to be. Uh, you're getting a bird for this reason. Haha, <laughs> okay. Birds are uh, interesting pets from what I've been told. Well, since my series is aimed to be animated films, the films will be close to two hours. Of okay. Yeah, it is. It's very much. It is very much. Uh, bird raising is, is really cool. I have... Let's just dump all the stuff that I'm not really needing. I have had parakeets in my life. I've had them run away. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your mind would go to weapons immediately. Thirty minutes film is more or less an episode at that point. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that's true, uh, especially with Netflix being the way it is, Cherry. Um, in the way our our, it, it would need to be a, a an hour and a half to two hours to be actual a film film. Don't let your parakeets run away, uh, Cherry. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Uh, birds need exercise like any other pet. And my, my father uh, would come home from work and open the door. He'd get home from work early because we'd always try to get the parakeet put away before he would get home. And we lost like three parakeets that way. He'd come home. Hey, I'm home, guys. And then all of a sudden, Max Seagro's dad let another parakeet run away. Where are you at? There you are. How much plot can you fit in 30 minutes? Uh, I don't know. There, there's some really good half-hour shows. There's some really good half-hour shows. Films are promised to have focused characters and villains. As spoilers in my series, one character has been the focused character. Actually dies in the third film. Okay. Kind of Game of Thronesy, but that's cool. Alright, so... Uh, drop Mandy, because Mandy's just way too full. Uh, Alright, so... Jack can hold 416. Mandy has way too much stuff. All right, Mandy, we're going to trim a lot of your berries out. And still going to be awfully heavy. Uh, I'm somewhat giggity. Uh, GTE is working on a feature film length type thing. I'm working on a, uh, well, working on a lot of stuff. Right now, on this episode, I can only tell that the people that are watching this on playback that are doing the Dino Hunt 2018 contest are saying that I'm working on somebody's blood pressure because the odds of me dying on this stream or taming anything on this stream is really, really low. Delcor, Delcol Core Guards. Okay, neat, interesting name. Boy, oh, not really weapons, but little tools and all that cool series. Sci-fi superhero and animated series. Awesome GT, awesome. 
Oh, that's the beaver. I thought something had gotten here. You know, this is... This is... I'm getting used to this base again, guys. It's been probably a week since I've played on this. Uh, very true, Cherry. Target demographic is a very important one when trying to sell to somebody. All right, and I th think you don't have anything on you that's important, right? Nope, you don't. Okay. All right, so Waddles has 23 of those. We need to take the thatch and the wood, come over here, grab the stone. Foundations, five. That's gonna be a stone problem. Actually, you figure the one of the medium, medium weapons, so, oh, okay, nifty. All right, so grab them, drag them back over here. Craft four. Ah, uh, so close, so close. All right, what's my weight capacity at? I'm at two fifty, and I am full. What am I full of? Well, Turtle Club, don't answer that question. I know what I'm full of, but what materials was I actually totally overloaded with? Better better way of phrasing. Better way of phrasing that. Okay. All right, so three more, and I'll be right there at 35. Word shop at your school one day made a dagger out of spare wood and got yelled at. I... I never think it's okay to yell at people for being creative, but Cherry, with, with you know school violence being a concern by a lot of people, I can kind of see where they may have a problem with that. All right, so now what we need to do is just do over here, go to our miscellaneous bin. I don't doubt you're a good kid. Uh, scope attachment, no, that's not a flashlight. Flashlight attachment. There we go. Sniper rifle, pistols, long neck rifle. Awesome. So let's get us a pistol. Let's get us an actual flashlight attachment. Three in. All right. I've never used the flashlight attachment. This is pretty cool, actually. Who is going to file it down a bit more? Use it as a kitchen knife. Always have been into cooking and stuff. You know, I, I don't know. You'd want a wooden kitchen knife though. To make random things. Oh, can I, I? I can place stuff in the dark. I like that. I really want a flashlight attachment on my server now because this is so cool. All right, so how dare you ruin a book? Um, you would have read it. I he didn't say he didn't read it, uh, Cherry. You're just you're 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 very badly assuming that Giggity wouldn't have read a book. All right, math. One, two. Oh no! Oh noes! All right, let's, let's see here. Can we? Awesome, awesome. Okay. That's seven. All right, so. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three. Three, four, five. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I not count when I built them? One, two, three. Yeah, I made too many. Wow. Can't remember what was about only the size of three pages. Oh, okay. 
So it was a damaged book. Hey, James! How's it going, man? Uh, we are building on our solo adventure uh, a daycare pin. And Jacob LeBeau, how are you today? And so this is going to be used for... Ah. Uh, Wow, we couldn't do math, and it, it, it came back and bit us. All right. All right, so we need uh, one more foundation here, and we need to, like, you know, be easy on the trigger. Ah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. It's, it's been a great day so far today. Um, oh, speaking of which, just a second, Turtle Club. I got to restart my dryer. And wireless headset to the rescue once again. I might cut out just a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hopefully not. I can still hear the game. So hopefully the mic is still kicking strong. Going, uh, so, um, basically, I restart that dryer. Exactly, exactly. Got to do laundry. Because we are going on vacation, guys. Digrat and I are... And i got to reconnect this cable. Have you seen the new archaeology event? I've been running it, actually, on my multiplayer server, James. It's okay. Um, the real cool thing about archaeology is with archaeology, you get uh, the bone piles. And occasionally, you'll get to a bone pile that is steamy. And the steamy bone piles... Uh, actually give you riot gear and uh, really high level stuff. Uh, so there, there's that. Does the flashlight attachment not actually degenerate or anything? That's that's rather nice. Really nice actually. Alright, so we don't need the flashlight anymore. It's getting to be daylight out. Alright, here's Waddles, here's Mandy. There's Agrajag. That reminds you when our dryer starts spinning up real fast, like fast it shakes. Uh, that's usually a sign that the load in the dryer is unbalanced. Just speaking from experience. All right, drop that. We'll keep that. Okay, so now we need walls. All right, Cherry, good luck on that. So we have, oh, we need a foundation also. So let's see, did we have all the stuffs we need for the foundation? We are the furthest thing away from a foundation in the world. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. All right, let's uh, let's grab these. All right, Mandy, hold our stuff. Waddles, back to work with us. Miles to go before we sleep, guys. Miles to go before we sleep, and we're really hoping. Lots of people were disappointed with the archaeology event because they thought it was new dinos, not skins. Um, yeah, but they're doing it like a holiday, James. I, I understand that. People are like, oh, we were thinking we was going to get all this cool stuff, and we got nothing. Um, and I, I understand some people being disappointed about that. I really do. But every other holiday event hasn't added a new dino. And they've run this like a holiday event. I mean, the commands for the server are like a holiday. But yeah, sorry, I still have eaten my, my snack. <laughs> um, so since they're running it like a holiday, I, I'm not surprised. And I'm not really disappointed, but I'm also coming from a, a, a pretty fresh server. I mean, it's only on like day 500 or something like that. Alright, cool beans gig.
added the bionic rex as a creature in dino spawns in whitish colors yes yes the i didn't even notice the whitish colors thing until like the second or third one popped up with it and i was like i don't remember that being in the patch notes that dinos are going to get this really cool like it's a bone color kind of thing audience one is everyone recommend that three and four year series is not for kids yeah, absolutely gte uh if you Here's some really good, good information learned from several college-level courses about marketing and audience targeting. If you make your movie for everyone, nobody will see it. Because oftentimes, when people target a movie or a video game or anything along those lines uh, a book even and you read the dust jacket of a book or you watch the trailer for a movie anything along those lines we don't say immediately oh I want to see this movie because it's absolutely targeted to me the first thing we do from a mental standpoint is we sort out the things we hate about it Hey, Drew, how's it going, buddy? Uh, James, yes, I have. Um, we've discussed the extinction of it earlier in the video today. We, being the royal we, we, uh, we're going to play it after we play every other version of Ark. I hate to be that guy, right? But uh, I'm sure if I wait long enough, It'll go on sale for five bucks, just like every other version of Ark. And I also know that if I wait long enough, every single thing that makes Extinction cool will be turned into a mod somewhere. I'm all for giving them support. But they kind of kind of lost that blind support from me when they did what they did with Ragnarok. And they really kind of hit that a, a pretty bad when they uh, when they did Arc Mobile. Um, if you've played Arc Mobile, I, I'm sorry. Uh, if you played it, okay, restatement. If you played Arc Mobile because you see how awesome this game is, I'm sorry. I really, really am. Uh, wild card bait and switched you guys on that. That's that's just really bad. It is, it is. I'm, I'm embarrassed for wildcard for that game. I really am. Okay, there's something over here. Yeah, I, uh, I, oh, really? Inixi? Great bait, mate. I rate 8 out of 8, mate. Um, okay. Stop stealing my Argent's food. Alright. Don't mind console to mobile Final Fantasies 1 through... Yeah, a, a lot of really good. Really, really good. You know, if... Uh, uh, again, James, probably not, man. On this channel, we, we play what our actual community votes for. Uh, once we're finished 100%ing what we're currently playing, and that is, you know, that is one of those things that we do. Um, we need to start upping hit points, like nobody's business. All right. For the means to how things work, so I need to have someone help me. Uh, that's actually very important, GT. Um, if you have any kind of complication. Any kind of complication. Uh, you know, if you know that you have... I, I hate to use the word weakness because that's belittling it to a point that I don't care for. Uh, but if you have something that puts you at a, a disadvantage compared to other people, play to your strengths. Shore up your weaknesses. You know, I, uh, I am not a... 
You know, I, I, uh, I'm not ignorant to what I'm bad at and what I'm good at. All right, James. We'll, we'll be here, man. Have a good one, man. Thanks for jumping in. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I love the roly poly mode this thing has. And I do agree, Drew, that it shows the potential for full games. Um, with the ports for Final Fantasy 1 through 7 and 9, uh, tactics, um, in some cases it shows what not to do for some games. Like, tactics is as great as it is. Your brother has Asperger's too. Uh, you know, they're, they're finding out a lot more people have Asperger's than originally thought. Especially with the new Spectrum out there. Um, Alright, so I need... Just me and my Dillo. Oh. Alright, Waddles. You stay here. You're on a roll. Ha <laughs> ha I like it, Giggity. I like it. Oh. Are those terror birds attacking the Rex? They sure are. But Let, let's. Birds of the world unite! Oh, there's a Carno there, too. All right. All right. I sure ADHD and bipolar with your dad, but your first doctor told me never to make it a crutch, so you didn't. That's, that's the way to do about it, man. That's the way to do it about it. Uh, I do aim for audience, like how Marvel movies target their audience, or something close to that. Transformers has sadly felt that. Uh, Transformers has done a lot of horrible things. Um, Michael Bay did a lot of bad things with it. Uh, same thing with G.I. Joe. I think, uh, let's not say Transformers. Transformers is is, is pretty, pretty horrible. Um, let, let's just, let's call a spade a spade. Let's say Hasbro has done horrible about that, right? Because it's, it's all on Hasbro. They're the ones who signed off on it. They're the ones who sold the license. They're the ones who owns all of the toys. But we can't be horribly um, slanted toward Hasbro. Because they are just doing what they've always done. Hasbro has always been about selling toys and making product to sell that toy afterwards. That's how we got, you know, really cool things like G.I. Joe and Transformers in the first place. That's how we got things like uh, He-Man. That's how we got things like She-Ra. That's how we got, you know, Rainbow Bright and all those kind of things. You know, the the, the, the toys that made us. Uh, really good documentary, supposedly. Haven't watched it yet. But yeah, pushing through uh, helped, uh, Drew, my understanding with ADHD. Uh, or as I, I call it more, uh, more and more every day, uh, Shiny Squirrel Syndrome. And it's, it's really interesting the things they're finding out about it. I've never been diagnosed, so I don't know why I, I have it or not. I just know that I bounce back and forth from a lot of things. Or I hyper-focus on things. Which are the two big, huge hallmarks for it. I, uh, I tend not to have any issues at work. So uh, I would be what's called a, a high-functioning if they were to label me as such. Let's see, where are we at, Waddles? Ah. Really, really, really low on the stone. But we'll be able to start going for it. I think we're going to have to go back to our other base to start getting some of the materials for this. Oh, not on the server. Come on. Restore, restore, restore. 
Let's see what these adventurers that this Rex had eaten before had. Arrows, armor, a spear. Okay. But yeah, anytime you have anything that makes your brain operate differently than other people, or not differently than other people, but as the collective society as a whole, I think that's a better way to phrase it. Um, you gotta work out how to do things. Um, you really do. Uh, one, one thing, you know, that I do all the time, guys, is, is post-its. Post-its are really good because my brain will jump from 19 different things if I don't have some way to channel it. And I do it for everything. I mean, if you look here, these are actually notes for what I'm doing here on stream. Um... Things that I need together. Things that I suppose secret have. We also have ADHD, autism, a few other things. Still high function except for grammar. Uh, that's that's not a problem at all, Gig. Not a problem at all. I uh, I believe I knew about one of those. Because I believe you said something like in a potato chat forever ago. But, you know, we shouldn't let those things define us. We shouldn't let those things label us. You know, I... I, uh, I don't think I... You know, it would be wrong of me to introduce... You know, you and Drew as two of my viewers that have ADHD. It's two of my viewers, right? It, there's, and I, I, that's just the way I think it should be. I, I think people should always be like that. Um, makes the world a better place in, in my book. But you know, I'm I'm weird like that, I guess. Waddles, waddles, waddles. Here we are. Okay, and we need to go over here, jump, leap, jump. Oh, case in point. Agri Jag, give me your meats. Oh, that would have been cool if it was cooked. I've... I agree, Drew. I agree. Hey, Ryan, it's going pretty good, man. It's going pretty good. We are working on the uh, babysitting station, uh, a breeding center, however you want to call it. And we got to get all the materials for it, which will take a while. And of course, like any other stream where we do a lot of quote unquote boring stuff, we will stop closer to the five o'clock mark if we haven't gotten where we want to be to try to go and track some stuff down. Not sure what we're going to go try to tame yet, but I know we're going to go try to tame it. All right, grab that, grab that, grab that. Okay, so we got some thatch, we got some stone. Um, how much does the behemoth cake? cake? Nine hundred stone. Okay, we'll go. We'll build that at the other base. So we need walls. Lots of walls. All of the walls that are the walls. That's going to be a wood thing for right now. So let's grab all the woods that are the woods. Walls. Oh, wait. Are we thatched? We, we No, we're not. It says wood. But don't we have wood? Oh, we don't. Okay. Now that's thatch. Okay. Inventory all this over there ah ah okay boom, 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 boom. we need thatch we need wood and I think we know exactly who we need to get all that out cuddle bird here we go all right come on come on cuddle bird 
All right, let's let's go on, get on the moss chops because it's in Kettlebird's way. Boom. I'm pretty sure we can right click these these trees. Oh, we left click them. Alright, maybe it's this. Nope. Alright. Pusherian turtle could be your teacher. Ah. Oh, that you know, I I appreciate the submit, man. I I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. It'd be great, it'd be fun, but I I'm not the best person long term to talk to. Uh, <laughs> As far as teaching and instructing and that kind of thing, uh, generally speaking, my my big grinds my gears kind of thing, uh, pet peeve, is explaining myself repetitively. I, I believe that if I'm teaching you something and I'm thorough about it and I instruct you on how to do it and we go over examples and we practice on it and we learn how to do what we're doing and, you know, et cetera, et cetera at all, that if I've showed you how to do something 70, 80 times, um, there's a limit. There's a limit. And most teachers have to forgo that thought process. And I'm just not good at it. I'm just not good at it. I, I guess it's uh, you know part of my inability to focus sometimes. I get bored if I've had to show something like you know 95 times how to do the same thing. It's really bad when I'm at work because that that's you know that's something that I do get affected by at work because I'll refer to somebody and say you need to go look at the documentation. I don't care who said what and what they said and what they did. You need to look at the doc because I'm no longer going to tell you how to do that. So I appreciate the sentiment. I really do like the Tron Entertainment, uh, but maybe we just you know handle brief tutoring sessions like this <laughs> uh, so we can still maintain our, our friendship. Oh, tickle chickens can go right through that door. I like that. Okay. Makes life a lot easier. All right. Tickle chicken this way. Because we need to, well, tickle chicken should still be able to eat here, I think. And tickle chickens are not good for thatch. We just got to remove that. I think waddles is actually good for thatch. Told me this, even if a teacher has teached you, they can sometimes be your student. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that is always, always a true statement. You can always learn something from anybody else. It matters not how you feel about them. All right, am I unencumbered? I am. Laura Sesame. Rise, rise. Oh, see, I, I'm kind of the same way. There, There is a strength that I have, and that is, oh, we had to build a foundation, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm the same way, man. There, there are certain things that I just, I in, instinctively know. And there's other things that is like, I don't understand it.
I know what I'm talking about at times without proving it. You know, that's, that, uh, that's a dangerous way to think about it, Drew, but yeah, um, that is definitely, that is definitely one of the things. Digrat, Digrat makes a big joke, you know, um, about a lot of things, but the, the few things that I know how to do in life, she will be one of the first people to tell you that if it's something that I know how to do day in and day out, I, I am not to be questioned because I can rote memory some stuff that people that have been doing this stuff for years don't even have a clue about. Wait, why is it a Delevate? Elevate, come up here. Oh, the sun glare. Not an ego thing, but just a knowing thing. Yeah, exactly, it's exactly. It's not an ego thing, but it's... It's it's frustrating uh, sometimes. It is. All right, so this is slowly getting me to insanity. So what I'm going to do, let's see here. Preserving bin. Clothing does not go in preserving bins. Alright. Oh, that's full? Rip. Okay. Oh, some of this doesn't go in here, though. This is what I get for not sorting things all the time. I get to points where I need to, like, quickly drop stuff, and I can't. No one has win. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes you have to lose to win. Um, sometimes we, you know, people are funny because there's a lot of people that are like, "Well, I'm I'm the best at this, so I'm done." I'm like, "Well, you're you're not. Uh, you can't ever really truly be the best at everything." Even if you're Ash Ketchum. You know, they're, they're, as soon as you are the best at something, unequivocally the best at something. All right, we're going to travel to Gamma. We know we have a Doedic here. We know we have a Mammoth here. Hopefully we got food cooked over here. Rip. No food here. Um, no food there either. What about here? Oh, we got some steak. Aha. Anything we can actually cook with? Any thatch? Spark powder. Here we go. Uh, free Chick fil A, Baskin Robbins, 7 Eleven, Circle K Foods if you get the apps. Ooh. That makes me so sad. Um, like. Chick-fil-A, I, I can't eat because of the way they cook it. Baskin-Robbins is like hardly any, nowhere around here. I have not seen a 7-Eleven since I crossed the Mississippi River. Uh, I don't think there's Circle K's here either. George is really weird. George is really weird. A lot of stuff that Digret and I got to like, oh, we, we know where we're at. We know what's going on. Okay, well, we need food. We'll be able to get it there. And there's my, there's my, there's my gerbil tap. I can I can drink water from there, so we're good. All right. Ikaru. All right. The Dairy Queen, though, I don't know. All right. Yeah, it's it's it is what it is. It is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. And off the ground, and we get off the dodic at the right time. All right, Woody, you are there. And if we're taking those guys, we need to take some muscle with us. Where's our muscle at? Alright. 
When he says five dollar, ah, that's cool. I'm, I'm trying to think of all these things that I could be eating because Digger's not here, and I just, I'm actually uh, failing at being bachelor at the moment. I really am. All right. Come on, Terry. Flying Rex. Oh my god. Oh my god. That uh That would scare me. I don't know about you guys, but that would really scare me. Wow. I have played the snot out of my out of my games apparently. All right, well, it says I need to replace my battery, but uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. All right, guys, on me. seem to be getting rid of all the stone everywhere. How do you not get crushed? I don't know, Drew. I uh, Video game physics is all I can figure out. What's really going to be kind of weirding you out, watch this, is if you look, right here is the saddle, and I'm not there. You can see me like, here's the top of the dodecarus, and here's my body. So somehow I get ripped off the top and like put on the bottom. I'm cold. Probably has something to do with the fact that I just swam through water without any clothing on. Don't mess with the Rex. Terry will eat you after she's done with Darwin and Gumball. There's some stone. So yeah, the, the mobile version of Ark um, still kind of, you know, kicking around in my mind a bit. So the other thing that's, you know, really, really poor about the console versions of Ark and the mobile versions of Ark is we, we talked about limiting factors on them. And one of the other big limiting factors on both is the map selection. On console, there's maybe a fraction of a fraction of maps like you know we've we we're playing on the island we've played on the center we uh we've streamed on ragnarok we've not done scorched earth yet because scorched earth is just rough uh we've not played on valhalla which is another you know new one we not done aberration i mean these are all things that we could do on pc uh, and there's a whole lot of other, uh, there's like the Genesis map, which is a, a new map that's been modded out. And they're, you know, churning new maps out, you know, every couple of months, some really good map comes out. There's even one called Dodo Island. It's, it's a way to test, does the game work? Not, does it work good? Just, does the game work? It's an island with dodos on it. It's, uh... <laughs> There's not much to do on it, <laughs> but it is something you can do on it, right? I mean, it is, a, it is part of the game. It is something that you can do as far as, you know, things on the game. Um, on console, you get access to, like, 
the island, the center, aberration. Um, Ragnarok and Scorched Earth. That's it. Just those five maps. That yeah, sounds like a lot still. Legends of Breath of the Wild can remind me of the quote Link has to lose it first and then wins. Yes. Yes. Uh, Fallen Champions, sorta. Uh, they, they really don't win. Um, Link does the winning for them. But I, I see what you're saying, GT. I really do. But um, on mobile, there's just one map. It's the map that we're on right now. And uh, we have a new donation goal. Uh, how are we pointing? We're pointing that way. You'll see there that we are working on Apple. Uh, Apple. <laughs> words, Mag. Words. We're working on an Apple HDMI out. And we are, we're, we're hoping we can get that going. We really are. Yeah, and we will we will stream a little bit of I, I I'm, I'm pulling myself a little bit. <laughs> we'll stream a little bit of Ark Survival Evolved on the Apple device though once we get it, so you guys can see kind of a side by side how that all kind of turns out. And uh, it's cringy, guys. I warn you, it's cringy. Dodecarus leveling up, doing a little mm. dance. All right, uh, Woody, let's go over here. Let's get down. Elevator going down. All right, ride. Okay, we gotta get Woody a little closer. All right, grab the stone. Too much stone. Grab some wood. We need walls. All the walls, guys. So five by five. So that's ten plus seven. So every 17 walls. All right. We'll be here. Every 17 walls is a floor. We out of thatch. Oh, dear. Great googly mooglies. And you won't hold it all. You won't hold it all. Why won't you hold it all? Oh, we have thatch here. Okay. Crisis averted. Mostly. And for what we're doing here, for the, the breeding pin that we're building, guys, we need this to be at least four levels tall. Um, we don't really... It needs to be six, actually. Yuck. All right, we need wood. Okay, sweet. Inventory. All right, so now we have to get thatch. All right. Terry is following Icarus. What is following Icaru? All right. So I'm going to use what I call the, the homing mammoth. So this is going to be kind of fun. So the mammoth is on follow. So we're going to just go around, do some Bash Brothers stuff. Bash, bash. Get some wood, get some thatch. Get some wood, get some thatch. Oh, we're getting some thatch. Oh, we need a mega. We need to go grab our mega, actually. So, as soon as we get off the mammoth, we're still on its saddle. Watch it kind of waddle over to Ekaru. All right. All 
And again, guys, we're only going to be doing the base building stuff for about another 25 minutes. And then we're going to go try to tame something. I'm not sure what we're going to tame. Um, let's take a look at the, the eggs we have in a little bit. Let's see kind of where we're at with that. Um, Alfred, close. Thank you. I am tired. Yes, I know I'm tired. Oh. Gidget, come down here. You should have a saddle. Oh, you do. Such a good Gidget. And Gorney, where are you on food? I... These things wear me out, guys, with the fish they need. He's good on food, though. All right, sweet. Okay. Oh, Gidget, we need you to... We need you to stop being so helpful. Good. Stop. Stay. Sit, Gidget, sit. Good bird. And... Boom. Oh. We're here... Get our food, turn our fire off, and then eat some food. Do our little hamster drink thing. That's not what I was trying to stop, but all right. Hey, Soul Games, how's it going? Um, what am I on now? Nothing. All right, pack leader. Let's get out of here. All right, sweet. You over here. Nope. We don't need that. Exit. Welcome back, GT. Welcome back. All right. All right. So now we have a lean, mean, thatch gathering machine. See that? He's got plenty of berries to survive a little bit, so that's good. Oh, he's running out of stamina. And he's just a tree bulldozer, guys. Gets a little bit of wood. But that sweet, sweet thatch is all we're after. All right, and we'll up your DPS a little bit. Look at the dance. Look at the dance. All right, uh, Woody. Take some of your berries off of here. Let this guy have some. Oh, we are in the dark. And we have no tools on us because we're silly. We have no flint.
Oh, here we go. Here's a pickaxe. Okay, there's Woody. There's the Maga. There's Ekaru. We think we saw a rock over this way. Said a rock. Boom. We now have a light. Sweet. Where's our dinos at? There they are. There they are. All right. So now we have a torch. We have all the stuff we needed. Okay. Hey, Karu. I'm too loaded over for you. All right. Grab some of that stone. Boom. Walls. Six of them. And six more. And we did the math. We need 17 walls per floor. So it means 34 walls will be two floors. So we got two floors right there. All right. So we got two floors worth. I think that's enough to kind of get proof of concept. Um, my friend is having a hard time to choose which beard is amazing, Chadley or yours. I told him, why not both? Chadley's got a pretty epic beard, uh, Galactic. Chadley's beard, I, I have to admit. So the, the thing about the beards, right? Chadley's is like this really full-on mountain man-esque kind of beard. And I had one uh, for part of December... But I, I, I gave it up. Um, Dig Rat, my wife, she likes the beard a little bit more neater. Um, I, I let it bush out a bit when she's gone. All right, we, need, we know we needed one foundation, so let's build the one foundation we need. And the rest of the walls we need, or we can make. What's oh, a thatch thing? Okay. All right, so we got we got a lot of stuff, right? Uh, I, I feel confident in what we have. We have we have enough to where I get over encumbered. Um, I can make a couple more walls. We we need to make as many as we can. So we have access to all these really good tools. We need to use all of them, right? Really love both of you guys. Well, thanks. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right. So, Woody, all right, you're not over encumbered. So, everybody on me, we're going to head back. And we're going to give our torch to the mammoth. Which should kind of light our way a little bit better. So that's the mountainside, so we know that's not toward our base. Oh, there's our base. You can see it just right in the center of the camera. Because you can see the giant well lit. I don't even know how it's well lit like that. It's the, I guess it's because of the actual uh, horizon. Oh, and it's starting to get daylight out. That helps, that helps. Lucy, we're home. Oh, man, this is going to be funny. Use my trick against me. Try to follow out to, uh... oh, no. Okay, okay. There's Ikaru. I was like, wait, where'd Ikaru go? Where'd Ikaru go? That's where Ikaru is. Uh, he's still trying to get the Woody. There, now you, now you shouldn't freak out. 
Hey, Macadoo, I'm doing pretty good. We're we're starting to build a the daycare center. Uh, that's 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 the beginning goal for today on the first two hours of stream. And the the other two hours of the stream, we're going to be uh, or the other hour of the stream rather, is going to be different. We're going to be trying to tame something. All right, so Gidget, come. All right, and you don't have a saddle. And you don't have a saddle. That's not good. You have a saddle. There's no way you're carrying all that, though. Oh, my gosh. We may have saddle locked ourselves, guys. Ouch. All right, can we make an Argent saddle in our inventory with the things that we have in this smithy? Uh, we need all the chitin in the world. Hey, we got all the chitin in the world. Good. We need all the French toast. Okay. No fiber. Uh, that might be a problem. Oh, we got fiber. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next is hide. Uh, no hide. No hide, no hide. Terry, save us! Alright, Terry has no hide. That's a problem. That can be easily remedied. Um... Terry doesn't have any hide. What about Terrence? Terrence, are you holding out? You have a little bit of hide. Yuck. All right. So if we were playing on a modded server, the best thing we could do to fix this problem here of the, you know, the hides hidden is there's a mod called S plus and we've finally instituted it on our server and it will tell you who all's got what and where all's what and uh, within a range, right? So it's not like you can know who's got hide all the way across the map. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. But, but it will tell you this person's got like six hide or this person's got like seven hide. But we need... We need some hide. So, we're going to take Terry out for her walkies. Close this door and try this again, shall we? Of course, that wouldn't work. I, I still can't figure out how these doors go in and out all the time. All right, so we're taking Terry, and we're freezing our our uh, our mag bits off. So. very ill prepared over here we needed so much hide and you know guys there's a chance that we won't get the hide so we won't be able to move all the stuff over to the other base today but you know that wouldn't be horrible it'd be disappointing but not horrible uh, better stated it would not be the end of the world I'd rather say That's what happens when you fidget. You wind up doing rares with the uh, with the racks that you don't mean to roar with. Oh, 
dinos. I'm in your base, chopping your trees. Hello? Ragnarok finish updating the mods? Uh, it has. It updated, uh... I was on Ragnarok for like four hours a day, McAdoo. Um... Fifty-four hide. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're eating a lot of things we don't need to eat. This is not good for Terry's digestion. Oh, that's a micro raptor. It's not going to fight us. Oh, that will fight us, though. Ah, Terry versus the Tickle Chicken. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a good shot. Oh, nice. Nice. That was good. That was some hide that we needed. Tries a couple of times to go on, then had soup supper and went to our nap yeah i uh yeah i, I did that too uh, naps are always good where are we at we are getting there we're about half we're a little bit over halfway oh this thing this thing's angry because we ate its friend That's why we ate its friend, though, because we're king of the jungle. Uh, McAdoo, it might be if you're using GameShare. I know GameShare has some issues when mods update. I really have no clue where we're at. Oh wow, that's where we are, okay. I love the jungle fog and mist effect. I mean, it's really neat to see. It truly is. Kind of wish I would have, you know, brought me a spyglass so I could see how big of a boy these are. Unfortunately, they won't be too horribly aggressive toward us. You are a level 4 Bronte. Uh, you can. You can use. Uh, yeah, for your character, you'd have to use your own account. 
Uh, but GameShare has some issues with downloading mods because it's technically... Um, it, it's the way it shares it which causes issues. Alright. This, this thing we should be able to kill. Oh, yeah. Like, two bites. Wow. Alright. I'm not really I'm not really feeling this, though. But we're going to go for it. We got, like... We got a lot of hit points to chew through. He saves about like 2,000 hit points. And they do so much damage. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we got some hide. Okay. You guys. Oh, he's just a level 3 Bronte? Alright. We'll kill this one too. getting there we're getting there we need like a hundred more I didn't even check his level this is not good mag mag don't be silly don't be stupid Billy don't be a hero oh wow these are just baby brownies baby Bronte RG saddles, neat. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's not the RG saddle. Okay, it's like, wait, wait a second. All right, we need just a little bit more. Okay, and we can up his melee. We will up his melee. Boom. There we go. There's the Argent Saddle. Uh, we need to move it over. Come on, move it over. Bing! And we're going to use this ATR, this All Terrain Rex to get back to our base. Very few things make us want to forgo the racks. Make sure we get plenty of fiber in our Rex's diet. Jeff Goldblum from Independence Day. Oops, what is oops? Or was it the guy that was playing his dad? I forget which. Let's see here. We have the saddle. Let's make a break for it. We can run much, much faster than our Rex can. It's not her fault. She's got these little teeny tiny stubby arms. 
Evolution was just bad for the Rex. Sure can eat anything at once. Let us in, let us in, let us in, let us in, let us in. And... Did she get caught on the door? She did not get caught on the door. Hot fudge. Sweet. Alright. So that's that, that's that. The last thing we need is to get an Argent down here. So we can go home. Acrojack, we summon thee. You've been summoned in all your level 70, level 70 awesomeness. Level 7 D, as in 7 awesome of the 7s. We tried to saddle her up, but we couldn't because we were silly. Alright, so now... Two things. Terry will be borrowing some food. Thank you for that, and was it Woody who got all the cool stuff? Let's see, Woody, did you get all the cool stuff? Woody got all the cool stuff, all right. Woody got all the cool stuff. Let's see. Ah, it's only 160 pounds of stuff. All right, and let's park it here. Just a second. No narcos, but bullets. Okay, that's good. And some metal. That's good. I think we got narc at the other base. We certainly don't have it here. Um, we do have a rifle. It's, it, this is in case we see one of those wonderful, wonderful new Rexes. I really badly want to tame one. All right, let's go down here real quick. I know Woody. Woody. Buddy, pal. Did you get any... Yeah, you got some Narcos while we are out and about. Sweet. Do, 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 do. Go on to tame a Rex, maybe... We need so many Rexes anyways to fight the bosses. All right. All right, no meat there. Was it spoiled meat? Nope, spoiled meat in there? Spoiled meat in there. All right, sweet. Bam. And boom, 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 boom. Craft all those. Why it's going to take forever. Okay, ADD version of this, guys. I know we have plenty of these at the other base. Alright, so onward to the other base we go. And we'll see how it happens. I know we'll be getting some experience points from that other thing that we just started start crafting. And when we land at the other base, we'll have some stuff. On the way to the other base, what we really should do is do a fly by the volcano. And see if we can find us a Rex or five. Because I really want to see one of these tech Rexes in the wild. Really want to see one in the wild. I really want to get one. Oh... 
never mind. Never mind. This is solo play, and I don't think the event's on solo play, is it? No, it's not. It's not. It's sad. All right. Hmm. I'm freezing. In the middle of the jungle, no less. Go us. So, let's see, what do we have access to still? Oh, we didn't get... Oh, the primate's already gone. Ugh. Yuck. Yuckity yuck yuck. Raptor, fly away! We're not on a Rex. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how good this RG is. What is that beautiful big egg? So let's take a look. That is a Diplo egg. Awesome. Those are very non violent. Exactly the best place to park at. Hmm. That's a really outclass raptor, I think. Let's help it, shall we? We were helpful. We helped the raptor. It was very painless for the raptor. That's how that's how we helped, guys. We're gonna help the turtle. Oh, 
Oh, we have we helped another raptor. And then we helped the turtle. Alright. That's at squirrel kitty territory. We have to we gotta get past it though. Uh An alpha raptor. We need to kill more of them too. All right, hello, alpha raptor. Hello, Alpha. How are you? We need the stamina. The hit point buff is going to... Uh, this is not good, right? Maybe. Maybe, we're, maybe we'll get lucky. It's a raptor watching a tennis match, everybody. Go to the... Gotta go? Alright, alright. GT, have a good night. Have a good night. Raptor of the Alpha Variety. What secrets do you have in your inventory? All the hit points you have are ridiculous. Oh, that was almost bad. The Morphodons will mess us up. Go away, Dymo. Go away. Go away. Oh, Micro Raptor. Oh, we don't want to see you either. This is a very try hard alpha. For a second and get our stamina back. We know this rock is pretty impenetrable to this raptor. Come on, watch your tennis match. Commercial break's almost over. Oh, that was, that was, oh, oh no. That was not good. That was, that was closer than it needed to be. Come on. Come back, come back. Yeah, come on, fight us. Come back. Yep, yep, that's the way it is. It's exactly how it is. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Get away from that Pariser. Oh you might have you might have taken on a lot more than you can chew Raptor with that thing. 
I don't know. Those things are pretty. Those things are pretty bad. I might have to go and help both. Ooh, that hurt. All right. Oh, we got the Raptor before he got all his heals. Awesome. Awesome. All right. GG for us. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to just rest right here for a second. I heard something I did not like the sound of. It sounded like a squirrel kitty. Oh, there's a Carno, okay. We got a mask. We got an ascendant crossbow. Hey, we got some stuff now. Um, all right. Oh, we got some experience for this argent. That's for certain. We're going to fly up. Because we know if old Eric was here, he'd be like, uh... Little negative Ghost Rider, this is Squirrel Kitty territory. Mag, are you silly? Are you taking the devil shortcut? Are you risking this poor Argentavius? The answer is yes. The answer is yes, because we are going to get this daycare center built. The daycare center we're going to build. So we can get the Rexes. So we can take on the bosses. So we can do the ascension. And so we can get our Scorched Earth on. Still one of the most beautiful games in the, in, in the whole entire system, guys. I mean, this game, they, they really did themselves good, in my opinion. They really did themselves good. Are you streaming till 6 or 9? 6 o'clock, McAdoo. On, uh, the 9 o'clock streams for ARC are gone at the moment. Now because of the new schedule. But in about 2 to 3 weeks, my schedule rumor... Rumor. Uh, my, my schedule will be changing in about 2 to 3 weeks again. At least I'll be told what my new schedule is going to be. Because of all the, the changes that my office is re-implementing. They're rolling back the clock. So I, I don't know what the schedules look like then. But we'll, we'll find out. Those look like berries over there. We hate berries. We really do. And we don't mean like berries as in the, the wonderful tart things that you get out of bushes. But we mean berries as in baryonyxes. Also known as uh, rare crocodiles, basically. Yeah, gotta love our schedules. Whoa. That's a micro raptor. Boy, we, we were we were in mid chair adjustment when that thing attacked. And, and let me tell you, it scared the water out of me. The ever living loving deadlight daylights on me, guys. All right, so. We're making it back to our base so we can get this construction done. And once we get the construction done, we'll uh, be able to move forward. A lot of this construction, guys, will be done off camera. Because of, you know, time constraints. Bill 
we'll get there. We will get there. Alright, we are getting closer and closer, but there's there's just a little tip of swampland over here. You still have a lot of swamp dinos left to tame in this game. We got a Titan Boa we gotta tame. We got both Sarcos. Speaking of Titan Boas, these things are easy to kill. Just keeps coming up here so we can boop it on the nose. Boop. We're booping the snoot. Booping the snoot. I tell you what, guys, the uh, snakes are really, really good once you get an Argent or some way to relatively trap and kill them. Uh, they're a really good source for prime meat. A really good source for prime meat. So I absolutely recommend uh, hunting them if you need a lot of prime meat, uh, as we have had in the past. All righty. Uh oh. Did I hear this thing grunting at something? That is a Rex taking on two Brontes. We will politely get over here for a second. Wait for all of our stuff to go down. I... I don't know if I want to get in the middle of that. Oh, there's a Spino over there too. You know, I, 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 I question my sanity here, guys. Oh, that Rex is just about down, though. Alright, that's what I thought. He was just about down. Sweet. Oh, we didn't mean to kill the Bronte. But it attacked us, so we're going to have to kill it now. It's only crime was attacking us because we attacked it by accident. We need another Spino Spine for trophies, too. Uh, so we're killing for trophies at this point, guys. <laughs> On our way to our base, we, we, were, we, were, we were getting closer and closer to our base. But there's some good stuff here, so... I don't know what level the Spino is.
Um, it's the how dare you hit me level. Good, great googly movies. Alright. That's enough of that. We, uh... We will run back to our base with our tail feathers between our legs, because yikes, he hurt. Yikes, he hurt. Um... Certain things the Argent doesn't eat really well. But apparently Spinos don't agree with it. Yeah, that's exactly what the Argent thought about that situation. He wanted away from there. He wanted all the way from there. Our club, we're just about to the base. And a beautiful arc sunset. Look at that. I mean, it's just the sky, cloud, pink, just beautiful. I mean, this is a real visceral experience at times. It really is. It's like flying through a painting. If the painting were trying to eat you. Magmorial Highway, guys. Eventually, we'll know if it'll take a giga. Because we will be getting the giggity giga over here. Giggity and giggity. Or Gigantor. Or Giantess. Lots of different, like, really good gig names for Gigantosauruses. Drop me that like for your gameplay community. Well, thank you, Eric. Really appreciate it, buddy. You missed it, man. We cut through... We cut through the Redwoods for a shortcut and not a squirrel kitty to be seen. We, uh... We, 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 we flinched, but we, we did it. <laughs> yeah, it's either that or stay back and wait for the Microraptors to come find us. So we, we, we erred on the side of not messing with the Microraptors. Up, over, land. All right, so we're gonna grab that for us, grab that for us. I'm encumbered, okay. We're fine with being encumbered. I'll get rid of all the things that make me encumbered. All right, all right. Count yourself lucky you should've went straight to a, to a boss fight. <laughs> I, you know, you know, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it, Eric. Uh, powered, right? Elevate. Oh, ouch. I, oh, wow. That was just short enough to avoid fall damage. Oh, my gosh. I, I am burning all my luck on single player today. Oh, I, I don't even want to think. I don't even want to think of what solo play is going to be like. Where's our pistol? Do we, we, do we put it on over here? Is that what we do with the pistol? We have to spend some time and sort through all our garbage. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I know what happened. I know what happened. We put it all on the, we put it all on the smithy because we fast traveled. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Here's our pistol. And we will put that there, and we'll put this there. Red was no squirrel kitty shit went straight to the bus with, with the pistol. Ah, ah. This is like the worst pistol ever because we just use it as a flashlight because our has no flashlights. Uh, we're doing gun water, okay.
This is our John Wayne. All right, stop to elevate, to elevate. This is the John Wayne flashlight, guys. Somehow we have a six shooter revolver with a flashlight that if you scroll out, if you look at it, I mean, look at that. That thing is like dirty hairy sized. Seriously. It's not a pistol. That's that's like a that's like a hand cannon. All right. All right, so first things first. There we go. That's feeling better. All right, wait a second. Wait a second. Awesome. We did we did have more progress than we thought we did. Sweet. Even this thing looks like a hand cannon. I, I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that it does, like, piddly damage. Fantastic ideal until you get aberration, and then you just get a fro dog, bulldog, and light is all around you. Uh, yeah, the uh, the glow pug. Um, I've heard about those. They're supposed to be good for, like, ravagers, I guess. One of these days we'll get to aberration. I, 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 I promise myself that. Right, and aberration light pets keep the nameless in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So Where are we at here? Uh, get all our stuff. Put the pistol in there. All right, so where is our gun? Not the pistol, like a rifle. I know we have a rifle to our name. We have to have rifles to our name. Oh, there's a rifle in our inventory. All right, <laughs> ask a silly question, Mag. Here's the answer you get. Alright, nothing in the preserving bin because we don't use the preserving bin for storage, honestly. I don't know why it keeps thinking we did that we don't. Um, okay. It's got to be on lift then because we've only used like four or five dinos for all this. Alright, there's all of that. Don't know. Grab some narco. Ah, that's what we can do. One second. Spino! We saw there was a Spino, and it tried to hurt us. What kind of kibble do you like, Spino? Oh, RG kibble. What just happened to my YouTube chat? Ah, uh, arc extinction. Yeah, it 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 looks interesting, but I am a I am a man of one job, and I only get to see 24 hours out of the day. So I I have a hard time, you know, doing stuff like that. Uh, prime meat jerky. We have no prime meat jerky. Okay. Tied to fox static. Oh man, yeah, it's not early, dude. This is late for me. This is late for me. All right, let's see here. We got all that. We got all that. Do we have any food that's, like, better quality inside our fridge? Probably not. Oh, we do have some cooked prime meat. So... Cooked prime... All right, let's just uh, grab all of this. At 5.30 a.m., yeah, that's that's early for some people, Tide of Fox, but I work nights. 
so working nights i i go to bed at like 10 a.m and i wake up at 6 p.m so it, it may be early for you but it's it's just beginning for me i i've got like another four or five hours if i stay up late you know i, I can stay up till noon some days and i mean it's staying up late for me so you know it is what it is all right so we got some we got some shots we got some stuff so we got an aggro jag who's only level 14. All right. First, we need to do is let's let's uh that's a male. So if that other one's a female, then we absolutely are going to want to tame it. Oh wait, put on the Jake brakes. Put on the Jake brakes. We need our spyglass. I have no problem going up to like a brontosaurus and saying, "Excuse me, I need to see what you was born as." But going up to a spino, they get really offended. Uh, let's grab these just to be sure. All right. Oh, Macadoo, I, I found something cool about S Plus uh, the gun. And S plus is really nice because I can just shoot things and pick them up and then replace them with, you know, their S plus counterparts. All right. So the spino was this way. We got about 25 minutes left on this morning stream guys before we take a two hour health break and then move on to Majora's Morning Muffin where we're going to take on the Swamp Shooting Gallery. If you think my my actual aim on Ark is bad, you haven't seen anything yet. I recommend watching me fail miserably at Majora's Mask. Starts at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that's only about two and a half hours from now, give or take. Um, no. <laughs> I refuse to pick up another one of those. Yeah, it is cool. Um, there, there are a few things that are kind of game imbalancing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm real big about the dark thing. And the, the infinite torches kind of make me go, uh. But yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I was just actually commenting about. I... They're they're cool, they're neat. And you know, the the lamp lights, they turn on you know at, at dusk and they turn off at, at dawn. You know, there's uh what does a compi? We have no prime meat though. Let's see. I don't think these things are... Yeah, they are pickable. Oh, wow. I might have picked a fight with the wrong thing, guys. We'll find out in a second. Oh, looks like we scared it off. We haven't tamed any compies in the game yet either, so... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nope. They just don't give prime meat. We thought they might, but they don't. Oh, we know these don't. For darn sure. Ah. Uh, ha! You tried to jump on me, and I was too tall for you. I was too hype in the air. Oh, these things. Oh, dime. Uh. Oh, no. We got to outrun those things. You have to set the timer for the lamp lights if you want them on or off. All. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, we're learning some stuff. I, uh... The, the best thing so far is the... Uh, that was the dumb Morphodon. Okay, good. Good. It needed to die. And you did die so hardcore. 
threw that back to where it needs to go. Uh, the, the trough thing was the biggest thing that I really wanted out of it. So I could set certain dinos where they only eat out of one trough. Because those otters are just killing me. So, so, so horribly killing me. So, is that, where's that Spino at? Oh, Spino, we know you're here somewhere. I think you're one, you're one river over is where you're at. Okay. Maybe not. All right. Well, I'll bite. What kind of meat eater can we tame over here? Not as what we can tame over here. I think these things give prime meat. If I if I am right, then we'll be able to go back over and tame those compies. Never use trough like that. I like the building part that lets you fix the noobs. Yeah, the the trough is huge in my opinion. Um, we have three troughs now in our in our base. And it feeds every dino. We have a meat trough, a fish trough, and a berry trough. And the fish trough only feeds um, the otters and the pelagornies. There we go. There is some raw prime. All right. Oh. Megan area. Bye bye. All right, let's see here. We go that away. But yeah, it's oops, yeah, we go we go this way. All right. Yeah, it's a real cool lifesaver. Um the way the trough's set up. There's a few other things I've been looking at. Um The pull down is really nice. The fact that I don't have to worry about where everything is now. When did the first person get? I have no clue what you're saying, Jesse. All right, so here we are. I know the compies were, what's here on this here? It does have a range limit. Yes, it does have a range limit and that's important. That keeps it balanced. I don't know what this is. Um, fair enough though. That's a true dawn. We hate true dawns. We hate a lot of them. We want them all to die. Still got prime meat, so we can still do this. I know the 
those copies are over here somewhere. We have one OV. I don't know if we have two. I need to make my checklist. I've been crowdsourcing it and it's not going too well, so I'm gonna have to go through and actually check. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have one OV only, and that's an omelet. I don't think we have anybody else on this game. I uh, I know we have two on the Ragnarok server, because we have eggplant and parmesan. Is that a compi? Are you a compi? You are a compi. All right. Well, male copy, well, female copy. All right. Where's the other one at? Here's the other one. Oh. Go back to sleep. Just just pretend it was all a dream. Alright. Alright, so here we go. We're going to options, change name. This is D. All right, no, this is D. Options change name. D, all right, and you are, options change name, win. Look okay, guys, they're windy. All right, so we're going to jump, grab one of you guys. Are you so tiny we can't pick you up? All right, you're not that tiny. Okay. All right, that's... Okay. Where you at? Here we go. It's the only weapon we have. I don't think I've ever knocked one of these out before. Guess we're not going to. Wow. No, they, they died before they got knocked out. Interesting. All right. So we got the two copies now, guys. You can see copy here. How perches on the leg there. Uh, so shoulder animals, something we didn't know until we started playing on Ragnarok. Shoulder animals actually... I have a really super benefit. If you put 100 stone in the shoulder animal, it counts only as 50 stone. So like, you know, um, 200, you know, you know, 
whatever the whatever the animal's carry capacity is. If you fill it to the brim and then put it on your shoulder, it's only as if you had half of that. Which is kind of nice. Which is kind of nice. I guess if I do that, it'll cause them all to not follow afterwards. Oh, guys, and I, I've been cooking chili. And I can smell it. Oh. Ten more minutes and the stream is going to be over. That poor compy. It's, I mean, all we have to do is left click and it's dead. I mean, it, it's, it's... That's why when I fly and I know I can't kill them, I grip my mouse like this because I have to. Because otherwise I know I'll fidget and I'll click it and it'll be dead. And we can't handle a dead compy. Dead compy. Da da da. Chili is so good. Yes, it is. It is. And there's a, a healthier version of it that Digret made for me a while back. And I still had the, the recipe. And that's what I used. All right, spit that compy out. Um, put this copy down. Wow, so it like goes just straight down. Let's, let's do that. There they are. Now they're back. Now they're pair. All right, sweet. All right, so we got Win and D there. We actually, we set out to tame a Spino. We tamed us a pair of copies. That's, that's how this stream goes sometimes, guys. That's how this stream goes sometimes. All right, so we're going to park this guy here. We're going to be able to see this in the light. So what we're planning to do is we're going to make a behemoth gate here. We're going to put ramps all the way up this thing. Uh, we could do that. I bet we have enough time to make seven ramps. Flintstone, Fred and Flintstone. Do, 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 do. Get on lift so you don't take fall damage. Aggro Jag. Alright. What all do we need? Oh, that's all the stuff I got off the icebox. We gotta put that back before it goes bad. And put that inside of here. Alright, so what do we need for ramps? Not Ramo ramp. Oh, we have to relearn it. What a ramp. Fiber thatch and wood. Uh righty. So Fiber. We know we got. Thatch. I'm pretty sure this is an empty till. It is. And I think we've tapped all these guys out. Uh Oh, oh, oh! Hey! Something came our way finally. Woot! Six. And it's not the thatch, it's the wood. So, ah. Uh, tickle chicken, we need your wood. We need the wood you have on you. Boom. Alright, that's all we need from the tickle chicken. Once we're done crafting all seven of them, we'll go up and put them down. We can carry all of this because that's what we tell you to do. And that's not down. I bet you this is down, maybe. Sure is. Up, up and away! So the... The, the thought process on this, right, is this is going to be big enough to house two giant animals. And that's why we made it five, because we know Bronte will fit in here. We'll be able to pull two of them in here. We'll be able to shut the doors on them. Uh, so whatever we need them to do, they'll be able to do. Uh, if we have to lay them down with stone, we will, we will lay them down with stone. Um, 
about to say no, it wasn't obstructed. So whatever it is, we'll be able to walk up here. Now, at four tiles high, we're going to put air conditioner units. And we're going to do, like, see, so that's going to be as high as it goes. We're going to do, like, a little shelf wall around here. And we're going to turn them all on, and we're going to put a Jenny right here. Generator on the seventh, you know, seventh tile. I'll be able to show you guys when it's done, of course. And, and we're going to line the walls here with fireplaces. So if we need to get the building warmer, we'll be able to get it warmer. If we need it cooler, we'll be able to get it cooler. Uh, we'll be able to basically incubate any side of eggs that we need inside this room. And we'll be able to breed whatever we need. And we'll, of course, we'll put some troughs in here. Uh, actually, what we'll do is we'll put, so there'll be a generator in the middle, refrigerator, refrigerator, so we can keep all the eggs that are fertilized cold if we need to, and then two troughs, and we'll be able to keep them, the food there as well. And that's the plan. That's the plan. It's going to take a lot of materials. I mean, a lot of materials. And speaking of which, I need to learn the fireplace syndrome, I'm sure. Yep. I mean, look, that's 450 stone per fireplace, so... Waddles and Ikaru are going to get quite the workout. They're going to be pumping iron. And they're going to be getting all this going on, guys. All this going on. So, man, that chili smells so good, guys. And i got to be honest, I'm kind of just idling right now. Because the next thing that we do is going to get so involved and so deep. So, I, I hate to cut us short by three minutes, but... Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to cut it short by three minutes. I really apologize about the Turtle Club. I know you guys were looking forward to this. But, uh... Oh, that's one thing we can do real quick. We need to go get some honey. We need to get some honey. We can go do that. There's nothing that says we can't get honey before we leave. Geely, 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 geely. Geely. Equip, 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 equip. Equip. Bug spray here hey Andrew Christensen uh, I have to agree long time to see I apologize I do not recall the name um, uh oh okay it's because I haven't played this in a while that's that's the only reason why it's so low on, on stuffs all right, so we can go put this in the uh, in the fridge. The cake fridge. We'll need stimulant for that. Of course. But uh, carrots, potatoes, corn. We got everything else we need for cakes. Speaking of cakes, Gary. Oh, Gary, please be alive. Please be alive. We, we, if Gary's dead, then it's all for naught. Uh. Alright, fine. Don't let us use the ladder. Gary! Did you all see that? That was the Akatina paste that Gary had put down. Bouncing. I think it's gone. There it is. That's funny. Alright. Boom, boom. All right, so Gary's good. Gary's good. And we always up Gary's food because they can die really easily. And we want to make sure that they don't. All right, so let's just Flintstone ourselves up. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Why am I still trying to do this? <laughs> All right, we'll get over here. We'll get over there. We'll grab that. We'll get off of that. We'll go into here. I love the way my base is set up sometimes because of stuff like that. It's just all sorts of cool and fun. All right. And we got some organic polymer. I think we use that right now to repair some of our stuff that we got on. 
Alrighty, so boom, put the head thrust there, put that there. Can we repair it? We can. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right, and this would take uh, just as much organic polymer. So we can repair that one. Wait, that wasn't what we meant to repair. All right, we'll just switch them out. And Gary, once again, is helping us to stay invisible for the bees that we have. All right, and we'll take this chest piece there. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. We checked on Gary. We checked on the beehive. We are going to go over to the bed. And we are going to lay on the bed so you can see us go to bed. And this is going to be it, guys. Turtle Club, we're going to have us a good break. We're going to get us probably some of that chili that we've been cooking all day long. And we are going to... Well, we got to check on our laundry and do dishes and all sorts of things that we... we we don't mean to take for granted when Dick Red's here, but we do. Uh, while we have our good break, though, guys, you guys have a good morning, good evening, good day, good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Whatever you're about to do, guys, in Turtle Club, this is Max Sinker saying have a good one. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back in two hours for Majora's Morning Muffin. Take care, Turtle Club.